a person like you doing in a bar like this? I love to discover places with personality in New York that it's all about, the, the food also comes together with the personality of the place and certainly this is my type of, of place to discover. Aside from being a consumer of food, being enthusiastic about it, yeah. uh, what have you been up to? Whoa, uh, a lot of work, which yeah. is great, in a very little, it's not a very well-known show called Orange is the New Black. Not many people know yeah, about it. It's kind of like a that. hidden gem. Yeah. Right, right, right. yeah. um, haven't lost like <laughs> weeks of my life to that no, show. No, nobody not, not does. Nah, I don't know a thing about it. Do you binge watch things? Like sit for an extended period of time just watching? I do. Yeah? I <laughs> confess. I it's think, kind of crazy, I, I right? think everybody does it, right? I think everybody finds, because I don't binge watch everything, mm -hmm. there are things that I'm a little more patient with or... Time to place. Yes, so like food. Yeah. You know, food is, some of it is fast food, some of it has to simmer and, and cook slowly. Well said. Yeah. So what's the recipe for something that is craveable, bingeable, you just, you can't stop. You take a bite and you're thinking about the next. You watch one episode and you're thinking about the next. Even though orange is very intense, but it has those comic reliefs. There's the moment of the dramedy, so it's not all just one color, it's not just one ingredient. There's so much to, mm. to kind of breathe for a moment when things are getting too intense here. Then we have these other moments where, or a character like Blanca, who I think is like, Whew, okay, let me breathe from what's going on to, you know, Sofia or something. When it comes to food, there, there's an echo there in terms of like creating a craveable snack. There's a certain amount of things that, that we want. You know, if a show is all heat, all spice, That's true. all intensity, yeah. and I feel like food, if, if it's all spicy, it would, you have to have some play there. Yes, I agree. I love that you have a book. I don't think about it so specifically, It just, but it happens by um, default, I guess. Yeah. But, but I didn't notice that I just do that. I'm a more of a practical cook. Right. Um, so I need like things that are fast, like brownies. Yeah. I love brownies in the sense that it's easy to make. Mm. So if, if I'm gonna bake something, That's it's gonna it. be something like that. Are you like a corner cut of brownie person? See, I always go for the corners and they're only no. four. You like the inside. All good. So we are good. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> we are perfect. You can have the whole rest of the pan and I'll just fight over the corners. That sounds perfect. Yes, yes. I feel like all of life can be, are you a corner brownie person or not? I'm gonna make you some food. It kind of echoes what I think is good in a good show. Okay. You wanna try it? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. We're gonna go downstairs to the dungeon. It's kind of like solitary. Is that how, oh, the shoe. Yeah, the shoe. It's kind of like the shoe. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a riff on kind of the uh, classic party mix, uh, which uses some cereal. And they're both made of corn. And so this is gonna be kind of like uh, the plot. The premise is butter. Okay. Spicy. Ooh, okay. You like spicy, right? Yeah, I do. All right. And fish sauce. Now fish sauce and these other things might be a little bit weird, but I think fish sauce and sugar is a magical combination. This is funky and salty. Okay. So this is gonna go in the microwave. Okay. Okay. Melted. Melted. Real white cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna mix that around and then we're gonna add the uh, butter. I have a feeling like this is a joke. Like you're gonna... No, no, no. Ashton Kutcher is not gonna jump out of this bowl, I promise you. And so now if you think about it, all of this cereal is made out of corn. And so we added butter to corn. Okay. I have to say, it smells good. So now we'll add some macadamia nuts because they're what I had floating around. But you know, a little bit of protein. All right, now lastly, a little cilantro. That, that I, I like. All right, so this is gonna go back into the microwave. Okay. And we're gonna set it for six minutes. Because it only cooks water molecules, uh, it actually helps to dehydrate things, to dry things out. And every two minutes, we're gonna stir it. Okay? Okay. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna hack up these sour like children. Them. Is that how they are called? No. Okay. I, I think that cutting these guys into like a, a kind of random pattern yeah. makes it a little bit more interesting. Just like a good TV show, predictability is... Definitely know, orange is not the type of show. Definitely not. That you can't predict. Once more. It almost smells like the movies. We're getting there, right? Yeah. I guess we'll chop these up. These chocolate covered pretzels are all function, zero form. Three, two, are you ready? 
Oh, it said it is ready. So these guys are gonna go in first because they're less likely to melt. Then... All right, so that's pretty uniform. Add these guys. So now we wait. You just let the heat of the thing yes. melt the other yes. thing? Yeah. Did you see how deep that was? I'm very impressed. Okay, so um, it's ready to go. Look at this magical one. It's everything. That is everything. So now I guess we just fire up the tube and pour a glass of wine and see if we like it. Okay, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting. It couldn't get much better than this. Got a few glasses of wine, okay. got a snack. You're so ladylike. The way I do it, I go like this. <laughs> I was trying to delicate mm. about it. Oh, this is good. I would taste the uh, cilantro and the child. Oh, sour child. The sour children. <laughs> oh my god. You thought it was a joke. I mean, it, it, it's. I hope that it was real, but. I might as well just press play, right? Yeah, Thanks salute. Thanks for being here. Yeah. <laughs> this is season three. Thanks for having me. Yes. And bingeability. Yes. Clear schedules.